Most people know what it feels like to be in a state of harmony and flow, where our hearts and minds are working together, and there's a genuine connection with others involved. It's easy to love this experience of synergy, but oftentimes this happens by chance, rather than by design or intention. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to produce this flow on demand in our day-to-day -day communications, projects, and challenges? Research shows that when we shift into a coherent state, the heart and brain operate synergistically, like two systems that mesh into one. We can learn how to activate and sustain the synergy between the heart and brain and prevent stress-producing patterns, along with increasing our mental clarity and discernment capacity. When we do this, our creative solutions for personal, social, and global challenges become more accessible providing us with more intuitive access and flow. New research suggests that our energetic or spiritual heart is an access point for our natural inner technology. The heart's intuitive intelligence which can elevate our communications, decisions and choices to a much higher level of effectiveness. One interesting finding from our research is that when people hold genuine core heart feelings such as appreciation or compassion, it naturally increases their heart coherence. We use the term energetics to refer to the systems that we can't see or touch. For example, our thoughts, emotions, and intuitions. The mind and heart feelings are energetic sources that underlie our thoughts and emotions. They're primary drivers of our biological systems and have a powerful influence on our behaviors, choices, and results. The intuitive energetic heart is what people have associated with their inner voice throughout history. From our perspective, the energetic heart communicates a steady stream of intuitive information to the mind and brain, which in most cases we only use a small percentage of, because our ego choices overrides the intuitive suggestion. Access to our heart's intuition varies among people, yet we all have it. As we learn to slow down our mind and attune to our deeper heart feelings, our natural intuitive connection can occur. Intuition is like energetic gold. Intuitive insights often unfold more understanding of ourselves, others, issues, and life than years of accumulated knowledge. That's why the state of coherence is rapidly gaining interest. In this state, more and more people are reporting increased access to their heart's intuitive guidance, realizing it's within them, and with a little practice, it's easier to access than they thought. Research conducted in our laboratories has confirmed that when an individual is in heart coherence, the heart radiates a more coherent electromagnetic energy field that can benefit people, animals, and the environment. A growing body of scientific evidence suggests that when there is coherent group cooperation, it results in increased flow effectiveness, and the potential for higher outcomes. It seems as though the group participants are not only in sync, but are communicating on an unseen, energetic level. Our personal coherence can benefit our families, co-workers, friends, pets, and more, simply by our presence. From our research, we know that heart coherence is not an idle state. It reaches out, it influences and supports others in many beneficial ways. Scientific evidence provides support for a global field environment that connects all living systems and consciousness. Many scientists believe that a feedback loop exists between all humans and the Earth's energetic systems. We are working together with other initiatives to realize the increased effectiveness of collective intention and cooperation. There are growing numbers of organizations with tools and techniques that facilitate increased heart connection and collaboration with others. This evolves into a collective opening of the heart, which is a major step towards increasing social and global coherence. We call this heart-based living. IHM, through its Global Coherence Initiative project, is strategically placing 14 sensors around the world to measure the Earth's magnetic resonance. This global network will enable our scientific inquiry into the interconnections between the Earth's magnetic field and collective human emotions and behaviors. 
Science has shown that the Earth's magnetic field affects humans in profound ways. But our intention is to study how humans, as a collective, affect the Earth's magnetic field environment. Every individual's energy contributes to the global field environment, and each person's thoughts, emotions, and intentions affects the field. A first step in increasing the coherence of the field environment is for each individual to take responsibility for their own energy. We can do this by becoming more conscious of the thoughts, feelings, and attitudes that we are feeding the field each day. Our hypothesis is that as enough individuals increase their heart coherence, it leads to increased social coherence. As a critical mass of cultures and nations become more harmoniously aligned, this can eventually lead to increased global coherence and sustainable peace. Doc Childre, the founder of HeartMath, puts it this way, as more of humanity practices heart-based living, it will qualify the rite of passage into the next level of consciousness. Using our heart's intuitive guidance will become common sense based on practical intelligence. Over the past 18 years, we've, uh, our, our research center has investigated heart-brain interactions, how the heart and the brain communicate with each other and how that affects consciousness and our perceptions. One of the things we identified in our research was the state we now call coherence. And what we found was that when we're feeling positive emotions, like we're really appreciating the sunset or really feeling love or compassion or care for someone, that the heart beats out a very different message the heart generates uh, by far the largest rhythmic electromagnetic field produced in the body. And what we've now found is that if we look at the spectrum analysis of the, the magnetic field radiated by the heart, that emotional information is actually encoded and modulating in, into those fields. So by learning to shift our emotions, that's changing the information we're encoding into the, the magnetic fields radiated by the heart, and that can impact those around us. We are fundamentally and deeply interconnected with each other and the planet itself. And what we do individually really does count and matters.